Yeah, the three-point line, obviously, we want to do a great job defending that and defending Stevens. Uh, you know, we are going to play him, try to get him off the block and then play him one-on-one. -on -one and so we didn't get in the rotation, give up threes. But, you know, I think they were 13 for 39. They made 13. You know, our goal was could we hold them about 30% from three? Well, they made they were 33, you know, and so if they're 30, we probably win the game. But too many uncontested threes, you know, too many dribble drive kicks, threes, and then the glass, you know, really hurt us. Uh, some 50-50 balls that we've got to have. But, you know, the, we, we got to learn. Um, and that's and I've told the guys, you know, we're going to have kind of some ups and downs throughout this preseason, hopefully get us ready for league play because of our, you know, you know, because of our roster makeup and new guys and kind of learning. And I want them to play through some things. And I, and I tried to do that tonight so we can see, obviously, kind of, you know, when we're good, why we're good, and when we're bad, why we're bad. And, you know, I thought we had a chance in the first half. We're going to half up four. But I think Chattanooga was ecstatic. They were only down four. I thought that was an opportunity. We could have been up, you know, 40 to 26, you know, something like that. And so when they make their run in the second half, it cuts it to seven or six instead of taking the lead. But to our credit, now we did, we did, we were really efficient last two minutes to get back into the game to where we at least had a shot to, to send in overtime. We just, you know, Kenny missed a good look. Rob Perry making some big shots for you down the stretch. They uh, sort of limited what Jamari Smith was able to do in the second half, but he helped carry the team in the first half. But Rob made one big shot after another in the second half, especially that drive to the basket there to get within one, Coach. Yeah, it was a good play. And uh, I thought we, you know, we were fishing the last two minutes of, uh, you know, getting him getting him shots he made the one big shot to kind of cut it to five uh and then we made another couple plays and put ourselves in a position to their credit they made free throws down the stretch to you know continue to extend the game for us but uh, you know we got to continue to try to establish jamari around the basket uh whether he's at the four or the five uh you know that's a big big thing for us uh, from that standpoint so but you know we just got to be more efficient uh, really on both ends of the floor. Uh, this is an opportunity to get a great road win, and we weren't, we weren't able to come through. But, you know, better composure on the road at times than, than it was in our first true road game. Uh, we just got to continue to grow. Jamari Smith was, you could tell, it was intentional to get him some touches in the first half. He goes 7 for 11 uh, the first half, only has two points in the second half on five shots. Yeah, I mean, you know, we tried to get in there to him a couple times, and, um, you know, we got the ball's got to move. You know, that's the one thing about the way we want to play. The ball's got to move, and, you know, if the ball gets stuck, it gets a little bit harder. And, um, you know, we, we, we got a lot of good things when we move the basketball. And so uh, Jamari's obviously a really good player for us, a good scorer, and we got to continue to try to get that, get that ball into him. And, uh, you know, we'll look at the tape and, and see the opportunities that when we were trying to get it to him, why, why didn't we get it to him? Right. And you could you could see that there was multiple possessions that whether it was the matchup zone that, that, you know, Dan Earl's teams play where we just couldn't get ball reversals and the ball just stuck on one side of the floor. And and whether that was by design or by, by choice yeah. of us. But yeah, I think uh, we that, just had didn't. To do, that didn't have to do with the with the zone. I, you know, talking to Dan before the game, you know, he's got a brand new team, too, from that standpoint. And I don't think they're where they want to be with the matchup zone. That's why I think he had so many we had so many opportunities you know for good plays and good shots you know the problem with that you know when the ball gets stuck the ball gets stuck just because the ball gets stuck you know it's no and it's not it's not a secret I mean it's just the ball gets stuck because we need to move the ball that's how you play uh, coach, next week, Missouri Valley Conference play right up on you. You get Illinois State, uh, a wide-out night. Hopefully a great fan uh, base comes out and supports the team in their first Missouri Valley Conference game, then Valpo on uh, Sunday. But a big week for your racer basketball team. Yeah, and that's what we've been, I've told them in the locker room, this is what we're building for, you know, to try to put ourselves in the best position to try to compete for a conference championship. Uh, we've got a really good program coming in here, Illinois State and Ryan Peden's team. You know, he's taking over, you know, new team as well. Um, it's our first home Missouri Valley game, which I think, uh, you know, is a big deal. Yeah. And so hopefully, you know, everybody understands the importance of that night, the importance of how we need to let this league know that, man, this is going to be the toughest environment in the league to play in uh, from that standpoint.